Our boarding passes. Norway. Tonight we're gonna go walk around Oslo. We have never been in this city. Um, I would recommend just kind of walking up here yeah. and then down to um, Vietnam Spiken. So you just continue up this road here. Uh -huh. okay, I think the palace is in this park. I'm pretty sure it is. So we're gonna go check that out. Walk maybe for three minutes. Look, look, look oh wow! Look over there. Look over there. spend maybe about 10-15 minutes here it's such a beautiful park and then right in front of it is a street and so very randomly we're just gonna walk on that street because it looks great I keep turning around taking shots of the palace because even though it's very simple compared to the one in London um, there's just something about it pretty neat I love the fact that the kids are walking on their own. We were just talking about how peaceful and for some reason very quiet it is. Even though there's cars and like hundreds of people is around there? us. Oslo and we ran into this couple and that couple uber nice they live in Staten Island they're traveling to France through Oslo and his actually sat with them yeah. in the flight today yeah. Yeah, in all of Oslo we are randomly walking by and Mom spotted them and started raving at them and his was sitting in the flight with them. By the way, they were his. They were really nice. They wanted to make sure that you don't wake up and so they were climbing over you to you go use the bathroom. So the whole flight, they were trying to make sure that you don't wake up. They were nice, right? Continuing down the street called Carl Johans Gate. I guess the word gate means um, street. Do you know how you hear? I don't know. I'm making that stuff up. But there is tons and tons of non-stop flower pots. Another magnificent building. I have no idea what that is, but it looks so great. Yeah, we, we are comparing what is this uh, city feels to us and maybe it's the area we are staying in right around the palace 
It's just full of flowers, magnificent buildings, extremely friendly people around. is just non-stop flowers after flowers after flowers after flowers look at this one and it's non-stop all the way from here up to the palace and then it goes and goes and goes all the way up oh, this is beautiful Car spotting his. So from far away, his thought this was a Lamborghini, which can trick you, but it's an Opal hyper car. From palace to here, we have probably taken like 200 pictures with all the flowers and restaurants, beautiful buildings. And again, after this garbage can, non-stop flower after flower and flower. Now it's gonna be food time because we are kind of hungry and we have some crazy plans for tomorrow. And the name of this street again is Karl Johans Gate. And it's the street right in front of the palace rubbing his hand when it's done. No, he's, like, he's, he's sleeping. sleeping and... All right, guys, let's head back to the castle and maybe on the way we can find some food. Touristy and crowded that side of the road. And then you come here and beautiful side of the road. A lot of people but all of a sudden it just feels clean and nice and flowers and just amazing. gonna go find a 7-eleven but instead we're trying a local store does anybody know what the name of the store is Narvisa Narvisa it's Narvisa and they do have mozzarella sandwich And I gotta find some local potato chips. Oh wow, they have a lime flavored Coca Cola. That's unique. Now, which chip to get? You got Solon's chips. All right, so, we did a bunch of shopping from Narvesen. Uh, the guy was super helpful. That's the store. I guess this is their local 7 Eleven, and that is. That is the shopping phase. Rushing back to the hotel so we can get a good night rest. And for now, saying goodbye to beautiful, beautiful street.
a, a real seagull from six feet away. It's like this big. But anybody wants to come here and buy souvenirs? I want to see them do a silly dance.